Hi, um, so today I want to demonstrate to you the TC Electronic Shaker Vibrato Pedal. TC Electronic has come out with some, some smaller uh, stomp boxes in recent years that have um, a few really cool things. They have a really high quality um, build to them. They have a really nice, um, really nice button on off switch. It's, it's pretty quiet and uh, uh, kind of responsive. They include some kind of neat features in these things and they're priced quite reasonably. So this guy is under 150, I think it was 100, 135, um, the one that I got here. So um, it's also equipped with the tone print uh, capability, which means you can, you can download sounds from uh, different artists. Um, to be honest, those sounds, I've, I've kind of checked them out a little bit. They don't um, they don't seem uh, remarkable to me, uh, but uh, I'm going to probably do a future demo where I go through a few of those. Right now, I'm just going to go through the basic stuff uh, that the TC Electronic Shaker comes with. Um, it's got four knobs, uh, speed and depth, which are important on a vibrato. Uh, it's got uh, a rise time, which is actually kind of a cool thing. It means that when you push it, um, the effect slowly fades in. So that's kind of cool, um, especially if you want to kind of do it on the fly. If you're somebody like who uh, maybe plays solos or, you know, you've already played a solo in a song, you want to kind of bring that in part way or something like that. Um, you know, you can do that and it's not so abrupt. And it also can kind of simulate uh, a Leslie speaker. Um, so let's get on to some, some demos of the sounds. So right off the bat, I'll say this is not so much of an experimental pedal. Um, you know, it doesn't get really, really crazy. Now, when you get to the higher speeds, it does get to a little bit crazy. But uh, what I find is on the lower speeds with the depth, even with the depth all the way up, you're not getting a, a really disorienting kind of churny uh, tone like I was kind of hoping for out of, uh, out of a vibe. So. I'll show you that uh, here is here's the uh, the lowest uh, the slowest speed and the highest depth. So it's almost, you know, there is something strange to it and it's a nice subtle effect in that way. So it could be usable uh, for somebody who just wants th things to be a little bit seasick. And there is a detuning there, but the intensity does seem to go up when the speed goes up. So um, that's just something to keep in mind with this pedal. But if I, if I put the speed up, Uh, immediately we have something that's a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit more like you picture a Leslie speaker or a vibrato pedal uh, sounding. So, I mean, that is cool. It's unfortunate that at the lowest uh, speeds, the intensity does seem to be a little bit less. So when I put the knobs at noon, um, that is the speed, depth, and uh, tone knobs, this is what it sounds like. So in the first example, I was kind of, I was, I hope it didn't sound like I was insulting the pedal. Um, it's not an extreme pedal, but it is definitely a nice sounding pedal uh, for, for that uh, kind of rotary speaker sound or the univibe sound, which it was an attempt at the rotary speaker sound, which everybody's now trying to emulate. Um, so the tone knob um, is, is in the middle right now. This is kind of a dark guitar, so. I like the tone even all the way up. So I don't find that the tone knob is particularly harsh. Um, if you had a really bright guitar, it might be. But then when you get down below noon on the tone, it gets pretty muffled. All the way down. 
It's pretty much unusable. And right about there at around 10 or 11 o'clock I find it starts to get uh, pretty usable. It's a nice dark sound. Um, and so that's the tone knob. I find above noon, it's uh, at least with this guitar and amp combo, it doesn't uh, make as dramatic a difference as it does when it goes down below noon. So the next feature I want to demonstrate on this pedal uh, is something called the latch feature. So there's a little toggle on here uh, where you can select vibrato, which is the standard uh, sound that comes with it, tone print, which is whatever tone print you've got loaded in, and then latch. And what latch is, is it only turns the pedal on uh, when you hold down the button. And it's an unusual feature because um, it's not a standard feature on a lot of these things. And what, it, what I've noticed is that you can kind of use it as a, an inspirational tool where you add an effect maybe only to certain, to certain notes or certain chords in a chord progression or something to bring out um, to like make those chords stand out. And I've never really had that in a pedal before, so here, here's an example of what that can kind of do. So kind of interesting, it might inspire um, you if you're a guitar player coming up with a guitar part. Um, it, it might bring some inspiration to you. Uh, so that's always the most important thing about a pedal. So I'm going to show you how this pedal responds to, um, to a dirt pedal. I've got a MXR Classic 108 Fuzz in front of it. Um, just to show you, it's not a cheap, uh, cheap pedal that's going to crap out. Uh, if you put a, a fuzz or something like that through it. Uh, so uh, I'm also going to demonstrate the rise time a little bit in this. So what I'm going to do is play without the effect on in latch mode and then I'm going to hold it down to get the vibrato and uh, you're going to hear it kind of fade in. So this isn't a really long rise time but uh, it, it is a rise time and you'll hear it you'll hear it come in a little bit slower. It's not immediate when I put on the pedal so here it goes. So thanks for watching. Uh, this has been uh, the Shaker a Vibrato by TC Electronic. Uh, I'm going to do what a lot of people do, which is max out all the knobs. I've got it in the latch mode, and I'm going to send you out with some, uh, some kind of almost ray gun effects. When you have the knobs maxed, that's when this pedal does get the most extreme and the most weird. While it may not be an experimental pedal, you could definitely get some interesting and weird things when you get to the extreme speeds. So uh, here's that. Mm -hmm.